What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video and today we are doing the most requested video that I've gotten from a lot of you people from Reddit and social and all places. Basically, we were doing a office tour slash setup tour. Um, but yeah, let's get started. We're going to go into all the details of all the products I have on my desk and what I'm running on my computer. I'm going to leave as many links in my description from Amazon, wherever I got these products. But let's get started. We're going to start from, let's say, right to left. Uh, we'll start with the the chair. The chair is actually a flexi spot ergonomic uh, chair. Very comfortable. I had it for a couple of years already. Um, very nice. Very stable. Uh, doesn't creak or anything like that. Uh, has good motion and flexibility. Uh, this actually reclines pretty far back, so really happy about that. Um, it's no gaming chair, but definitely helps when we're doing long hours in a chair for editing or just work in general. Um, highly recommend the chair. So let's get the chair out of the way. Uh, next, we will start, I guess we'll start what's on the table. So what I use most is actually let's talk about the table the table is a flexi spot um standing desk so you can see the standing uh mechanism standing, standing legs on the side we have the controller over here and then we have an ikea tabletop um that sits on top of the legs as you can see there so let me press this button you'll see it go up i have three settings so the first one is just sitting, so that's number one. Number two is what I like to call tank height. So it lines perfectly to the tank. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> and the third one is the standing height. Um, and that's for standing height. So usually you can go a little bit higher, uh, as high as you want, as low as you want. Uh, I try to set it at this setting, just so that it doesn't knock over my uh, Gyarados paintings. It has happened before. I have had to replace the frame. I went too high, the screens were pushed way back, and it knocked it over, but lucky the print survived. So let's go back to the first setting. Actually, let's go to the second setting. Super easy to use. Um, once you have your specific height, or whatever, you can just do a save to the memory right there. Very simple to use. Um, like I said, this is the IKEA tabletop, very popular. Everyone just uses it as like a butcher block kind of thing. A lot of YouTubers use it. I'm very happy with it. Had it for a couple of years. Um, haven't really treated it. I should probably treat it, um, as far as like, um, putting like a stain on it or something, but it's pretty good for what it is. Um, next we will jump into, I guess we could jump into the computer. Um, I'm just trying to get my my notes for this computer because I know people want to know the specs. So the case is the uh, Leon Lee PC 011 Dynamic. Um, I know they came out with a new one recently. Uh, I was trying to get my hands on that. Uh, been very happy with this case. The only thing that I hate about this case is that it's huge. It's ginormous. Um, yeah, you can see it's really big, but I mean, it's nice. Fits all the components in there. Uh, so what we're running is a AMD Ryzen 7 3700X uh, CPU. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM. We have the Asus Tough Gaming motherboard. Um, it's It's been pretty much a workhorse as far as running games. Usually I'll play like uh, Call of Duty, uh, Valorant, Apex. Uh, it runs all the games, so I'm not too worried about that. So if you're playing any Call of Duty, let me know. Comment your username, we'll get some games running. Uh, next, we have the headphones that I use, which is the Hi, uh, HyperX, uh, I think it's the Stinger. I think it's the, the Stinger version. I used to have the cloud version, which is the wireless version. This is the, the wired version. Uh, I pretty much just got tired of recharging my headphones every time I wanted the game. So now I have it just hardwired into the PC. Uh, what I also have for uh that's connected to the pc are these card readers and usb 
hubs. Um, I'll leave a link in the description as far as what or which ones they are, but pretty generic, just USB hubs and uh, card readers uh, for my camera memory cards. Uh, next, we can, I guess we can jump up here. So we have the Lego Technic Porsche. Um, we have the Audio Engine 3 speakers, one on both sides. A first generation Echo Dot still works. Uh, very happy with it. I don't like the, the bulky ones they have coming out now, but uh, this one still works. So once this, once this uh, dies, we'll probably replace it with something visual, maybe with a display. Uh, next we have my beloved content creating camera. This is the Fuji X100V. I'm sure most of you know about it. It's very been it's been very popular since the pandemic. Uh, pretty hard to get your hands on them for some reason. Um, it's great for shoot for street photography and just traveling. If you're traveling a lot, it's very uh, lightweight and compact. Um, I have added the wide lens on it. Usually it comes with just like that first part, which is 35 millimeters. Uh, but I added a wide lens uh, conversion kit on it. Uh, next, we can jump into the two monitors. So these are two 27-inch uh, Gigabyte G27Q monitors. Uh, I got them like a couple years ago, like Black Friday sale. Um, highly recommended if you can catch them for under 200 or so. Um, I think I paid like 250 each. But these are sort of like uh, gaming slash editing monitors. Um, usually, people will ask, like, I mean, how do you how do you work on a station if you're sitting in the center? Basically, you can move them around to wherever you want. Usually, I'll be working on this monitor and then gaming on the other one. Um, but they're fully rotatable and adjustable to however I'd like to uh, set them up. So let's go on to the accessories on the desk. Uh, we have the Logitech, I believe, it's, I forget which keyboard that is. Let me, let me check my notes real quick. So this is the Logitech G513 Carbon with the GX Blue um, keyboards. Keyboards, I mean, the caps. And we also have the Razer Lancehead mouse. Um, pretty typical, nothing special. Uh, use it for gaming mostly. Um, I don't have any keybinds or anything like that, so just, you know, just typical mouse and keyboard. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, we can jump into the Hexcal Studio. So really love uh, these monitor rises and organizers. I don't know if you've seen them on YouTube, but shout out to Hexcal for sending them over. Um, really love how you can organize all of my chords. So you basically see no chords anywhere, but all the chords are really just tucked into there. Let me just turn on this on real quick and I'll show you what I mean. Um, there's a lot of features to this um, organizer. So I have lighting, I could do either warm or cool lighting. Um, I'll show you how unorganized it is under this hood. Hopefully I could do it with one hand. Let's see what happens. So we unlock it on both sides and then we can pull this cover off. Let's see, one hand. Yes, one hand. Pull the cover off and then you can see all the cords that are tucked into there. So really good if you're in if you're not really good into cord management but just want something to organize your space, highly recommend the Hexcal Studio. Cords on the back of it were just cable management. And then we just lock it back in. There we go. One, two. So now that's locked in. Um, but yeah, been very happy with it. This is also their Hexcal uh, mat. It's made of a, like a faux leather, really nice to the touch. Uh, very happy with the setup. Um, there's also USB ports on the side of this, as you can see here. So it's great if I'm charging my iPhone. Um, you can also do wireless charging right here. Um, any USB ports that can connect to there can also read through a hard drive bay that's already inside of this as well. So that's it for the Hexcal Studio. Um, trying to see what else we can jump into. I guess we can jump into the 
controllers on the bottom. So we get a lot of questions about these as well. These are the Hydros Coral View controllers, the X4 and XP8. They control my fish tank. So everything can be monitored, whether it be the temperature, pH, dosing, all that kind of stuff can be monitored through the app. Uh, highly recommend if you're going into salt water or even fresh water, uh, just something that can control your aquarium, whether you want to turn things off, you want to do maintenance, you want to monitor things, definitely check out the Hydro uh, system and lineup by Coral View. Uh, then we have my MacBook for work, the Alex drawers, typical, holds all my knickknacks and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, next, we can jump into the fish tank, I suppose. Actually, let's jump into the Gyarados posters. Uh, a lot of people have been commenting, you know, where did you get those Gyarados posters? They're so cool. Um, honestly, got them years, years, years ago from uh, New York Comic Con from an artist in Artist Alley. Um, I wish I remembered the name. If you do remember the artist, link it in the comments section below. I'll probably try to find him, his or her um, Etsy shop. I feel like there is, uh, that the artist is still out there creating content or creating creating work. So hopefully I can find, find their account and link it uh, in my description. Uh, all right, so next we can jump into the fish tank. So we'll start from the top and work our way to the bottom. We are running the Illumagic X4 LEDs with the Vitamini LED strips. Um, this is about a 55 gallon fish tank, salt water, reef, mixed reef. Um, so there's live corals and fish and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, what else we got? So on the top, we have a beta tank with live plants. I think the beta is somewhere in the back somewhere, but uh, hopefully I can get it on camera later. Um, so that's about a three gallon tank. Uh, very simple, very easy to maintain. Water changes like once a month and you're good to go. Uh, I guess we could jump in here too. Uh, I'm not going to go too into detail of, of the equipment in here, but we have a skimmer, we have some dosing equipment, but these are the stuff that run the tank, uh, the dirty stuff that run the tank and keep everything running on the display. But yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, everyone asked about the cord management. I can leave these cable raceway, um, the link product a product link in the description. We also have a sleeve as well. Not really a big fan of the sleeve, but it, it works for, for that section especially. Um, but really big fan of these Kalo Raceways. Looks really clean. Uh, no issues. Super easy to install as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Guys, if you have any comments, any questions, let me know. Uh, what do you think is missing from this setup what can i do better with this setup but i feel like we're in a good position i i was looking at like maybe like a 34 inch curved monitor monitor curved monitor for this section which looked could pretty cool but um let's we'll see if i can score a deal on that somewhere um but yeah guys thanks for watching I appreciate all the support as always and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace